Shantan, one of the seven convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, breathed his last in Chennai following a cardiac arrest on Wednesday morning. 55-year-old Shantan, alias T. Sudhendira Raja, is a Sri Lankan national and he died while undergoing treatment at the Rajiv Gandhi Government General Hospital for liver failure. Shantan, along with his fellow convicts, were released by the Supreme Court in 2022 after they served over 20 years of jail term in connection with the assassination of the former Prime Minister near Chennai in 1991. Shantan, a former member of the LTTE's intelligence wing, arrived in India by boat along with the key conspirator Shivarashan. He had recently expressed a desire to visit his ailing mother in Sri Lanka and had sought assistance from the Sri Lankan president to facilitate his stay. Following his release, Shantan was residing in a special camp in Tirichirapalli, while co-accused Nalini, who was also set free, moved to her home in Vellur. Other released convicts include Nalini's husband, Murugan, Robert Pius, Jay Kumar and Revi Chandran. E. Therani Rajan, Dean of the Rajiv Gandhi Government General Hospital, where Shantan was undergoing treatment for liver failure, said he died at 7.50 a.m. on Wednesday. Shantan suffered a cardiac arrest around 4 a.m. on Wednesday, but was revived following a CPR, that is, cardiopulmonary resuscitation procedure and was given an oxygen supply and was on a ventilator, Therani Rajan told reporters. However, Shantan did not respond to treatment and he died at 7.50 a.m. on Wednesday, he said. A post-mortem will be conducted. Legal arrangements are underway for the body to be sent to Sri Lanka, he added. The deceased was admitted to the hospital in Chennai on January 27th for liver failure, the dean said. News Desk. Kaumuti Global